my name is Harry Bogosian, and I've been making comics now for about nine years. I used to work for a small video game company drawing monsters, but I realized I didn't just want to draw monsters, I wanted to write stories about them. Comics allow for incredible flexibility in storytelling. They allow me to take control over the worlds and the characters I create. Each day, I let myself doodle a bit in the morning, and I get to work at around 10.30 a.m. I tend to work till around 7.30 to 8 p.m. at night. I used to work a lot on the weekends, and I probably will again, but it's a good idea to give yourself some days off. I work doing comics and illustration full-time, and it's very important to develop healthy physical habits if you don't want your body to just give up and leave you to fend for yourself. My comic, A Better Place, is moving towards the conclusion. A very large part of what makes a comic enjoyable to me is how it comes to a close. It's going to be frustrating since it often takes years to do so, but it is absolutely worth the effort. How things end in a story retroactively affect your view of that story, and it's important to consider the ending in terms of the themes, character arcs, and what kind of story you want to tell. If you don't consider these things ahead of time, you might end up very frustrated with the story you end up telling. The future project I'm working on is titled Lich Girl. It's about a young homeless girl and an undead spellcaster, a lich, that swap bodies. Both of them have their own reasons for bringing down a school for wizards, however the lich seeks to do so non-violently and the young girl has no such compunctions. It's about showcasing the vast amount of damage that can occur when different groups are unable to communicate effectively and about those that seek to use that confusion to their own ends. I want to explore a fantastical world with nuance and love for the characters and monsters that inhabit it. The story will take place on a relatively small island, but the world itself is vast, and I would love to explore the whole of it one day. I do have some advice for aspiring comic creators. I think the best reason to pursue art in any form is because you love it. Be realistic with yourself that you can continue to love it when making it commercially. If you find yourself growing increasingly frustrated with what you are working on, or bored with it, or upset with yourself and your own growth, take a step back. Try to find the path that makes it so you can enjoy what you do. It's almost impossible to spend all day long drawing if you cannot enjoy it. Don't worry about being the best. Don't worry about being the quickest. If the commercial path isn't for you, that's okay. Do not destroy your love of art in the pursuit of it. At the same time, if you do find that you can work hard and love it, it can be an immensely fulfilling career. Please be patient with it, especially if you're going into comics. It takes a long time, it's a very slow, inefficient, and in some ways ridiculous career that should only be pursued if you are very stubborn and too in love with trying to stop. But I do hope you continue to enjoy my work and continue to enjoy comics.